welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Did y'all see this Gail King interview with um Meg the Pony? Meg the one beyond. Meg, Meg the Pony. <laughs> Why you call her a pony, yo? As a stallion, as a male horse. Oh, good point. What I refuse to use female, ain't, ain't that a female like a mare? Meg the mare? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, I, I, I'm educated. Unlike people who just refuse to see the bullshit she named her. So if you're not a stallion, motherfucker. You, you know, no, I, I understand what you was going for. But I ain't gonna go with it. Now back to the interview. Y'all see this bullshit? I did. I did see the interview. I did see some segments. I really didn't want to see it, but I figured I probably should look at it. Yeah, you and me. I watched pretty much the full thing. Do y'all think it was necessary for her to go on with Gail King and do an interview? Uh, My honesty. My honest opinion, I feel like it's unnecessary to go on Gail King, period. Okay. I feel, yeah, I like, feel like no, nah, I, I don't trust Gail. I don't trust Gail. It's just something about her that just gives me these this this shifty, like I'm just doing this for the uh just for the uh <laughs> The fame or the popularity, yeah. not the fame, but oh. just the notoriety and everything. But there's just something about her. She's always on the, she's always with the messy shit. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's never, it's never like she's doing a documentary on something positive or doing a documentary on just anything else, politician, anything else. Language? She's always in language? some messy shit. Huh? Her last thing, her last big interview was what? With who? R. Kelly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't keep, That's keep the first that one off the top of my head. Okay. Keep that in your head. They keep keep going forward with your other thought. You just want to act. You just want to bring the thought up in, into the conclusion. If it was just, you can come back to that. So, mm-hmm. I see me personally. I see this interview as Meg trying to get ahead and be the narrator of this whole situation. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. I feel like when people go on Gail King and get interviewed, it's to change the narrative, you feel me? Because they start to look bad in the situation. And that's the only reason they be going to Gail King and get interviewed because Gail King, I, I don't know about their internal process or how they set up the interviews or from what uh the information I've been privy to when you try to get to a Gail King interview, you going to seek Gail King. Your people calling to set up the interviews and stuff like that, you feel me? And your people get you on the interview, not the other way around, her seeking you out. So it's like you going to seek that public platform of her to try to get your story out. But everybody who's done it has been like from what I've seen these past big interviews she has have been the parties who at the end of it, don't be on the, the how can I say it? Don't look good at the end of the, at the, end of the day in a personal situation. Um, Mr. Kelly, you try to get ahead of it with your Gail King interview and it flip-flopped on your ass. And I think the same thing has happened with Meg. I, I, I would say I honestly just thought she was sincere. I think the reasoning behind it is I think um, there's a weird thing that's happened since the actual shooting. I think when the uh, shooting first happened, there was just kind of like a confusion because everybody had just finished seeing them kind of together and hanging out and Mm -hmm. a little stuff together. So people thought they were like at least at least on a level cool, if not thought they were more than cool. Um. So when it first broke, everybody was kind of confused and then it was conflicting stories that just kept coming out, you know, day after day. Once the dust kind of settled and it was like, all right, it's confirmed. It was definitely bullets. I think the initial thing was backlash on toys. Over the next 
like couple of years though, or year and some change since that shit happened. There's been this weird kind of twist into like people almost like the narrative being like people being upset with Meg for even pursuing this and saying that she's a liar, et cetera. So I think if you are in the like you're confident in what you're saying is gonna be found to be true, or or at least you feel it will be. And the public narrative is the opposite and it's becoming a negative one on you. I think for her, this is like the only thing, like these days is it's one of them things where like you can sit quiet, but if you do, how does that affect your money? And I think for her, there may be something that's happening on the back end where like people may be pulling away from working with her musically, through the ties or shit like that, you know, playing <laughs> politics. Mm-hmm. Or- music industry is such a political game. It may be somewhere like she's seeing loss of money from this or loss of resources to get money from this. So she like, let me get out in front of this narrative and at least let people hear my full side all in one piece in a more like, cause you know, like a lot of their banter has been like, not even conversational words spoken. It's been like, Twitter posts or Instagram mm-hmm. writings and shit like that. So it hasn't been like either one of them really just sitting down and saying, this is what happened in my eyes. So I think for her, it's like, let me jump out in front of this narrative. And Gail King is probably one of the few people that would have done it in a classy enough way that it don't come off all cheesy. Like if she had went on Vlad or Adam 22 or one of these mm-hmm. podcasts or something like that. But it, still allow her to kind of be a little real, I guess, and have her moment. Um, and I also think that like, it gave her a bigger platform to talk about more shit. Cause I think she wanted to add in the parts about her losing her mother and how she's been dealing with that to kind of, you know, ramp up sympathy. But I don't think it's for conniving way like, oh, please. I think it's more like, hey, y'all look, I'm the person that got shot here. Like, stop coming at me like I'm already dealing with my mom death. I don't need y'all fucking with me and like doing all this crazy shit. Because mm-hmm. I got yeah. shot. Like, that's crazy. Now for the articles I've read, the people wrote written on it and the little information I've seen on videos. It says that when tested, his hands were tested, Tori didn't have any gunshot residue on his hands. What the friend did. So, is it, could it be any way that the story is possibly getting twisted? Well, this is what, from what I understand. All right. So, I know for a fact Megan's feet were shot by a gun. Mm -hmm. It was shot by a gun that was in that car with them four people that was in that car at that time. Somebody in that entourage or Megan herself shot that gun that evening and it hit Megan's feet. Now, this is where I kind of um, lay with it. One of two things happened. Well, one of three things happened. Either Tori definitely shot her in a moment of frust- drunken frustration or whatever, thinking it was going to be funny and the shit went wrong and it actually hit her feet. And now he's fucked up and he's like panicking. Two. Tori ain't had shit to do with that shit. And either the driver or the other friend or Megan herself shot Megan in the feet. And Megan just thought it was Tori, but she didn't see what happened. Or three. Somebody thought it was funny. It wasn't in anger at all. Megan was out the car and somebody thought it was funny to play with that gun because Megan never said she actually saw who shot the gun in that interview with Gail. She said, I I was out the car and I heard a man's voice saying, dance, dance. But she didn't say who was shooting the gun. She said, and they think she knows she heard the gunshots and was like, she was scared to move because she thought she didn't want to, you know, she didn't know if the next step could like put her in more harm's way or get something messed up out of the dock. So like, my theory on this is somebody was playing with a gun, thought it was funny, thought they was better with the gun than it happened, 
And I actually think that some of the stuff that hit her foot was actually like ricochet shots. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I was thinking. Moving around your feet and that shit <clears throat> off the concrete and, and slice into the feet. Yeah. I think that's where the where the where the shrapnel and shit that hit the side of her foot came from. Now that Achilles mm -hmm. heel, I think that might have been a direct bang bang. A little grazing real quick, and I actually nipped some shit. But either way, I don't know that it was toy. I can't prove that. And I would yeah, not that's... be surprised if it wasn't, but I also wouldn't be surprised if it was. I'm I'm at the point where like I really am just I need to see more evidence before I say who shot her. Yeah, man. And I damn sure know that's she was shot. And I will say. As far as feeling a vibe go, I'm usually pretty good with that. I'm, 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 I have a really decent track record with that. I would say I did believe her that when she was talking. So what, I, what that tells me is that whatever she was saying, she believed that to be true. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the truth is, but I do feel like that she truly does believe what she was saying to be true and that those were real emotions from that. Past no. that, I don't know because it, it's so. Have you one of y'all heard that um that newest track from Tory Lanez? I forgot the name of it. Some crazy name of the shit where he addressing the whole situation and everybody who spoke against him, heard spoke up against him. Uh, I forgot the name of the shit. Something James or something like that. It's a, it's a good track. I heard the track. It's your eye, but it's like his attempt to get in front of the net and, and give his side or uh, speak to the narrative. It's it's like he ain't giving going into detail. Exactly, because you really can't speak on the speak on the case. So mm -hmm. he and this is a pretty nice track. It's a pretty pretty good track, and he's articulating from his point of view like it's messed up. Uh, Y'all try to blackball me, you me, and based on the accusation that ain't true from what he's saying. Even my thing is okay. It's a gun in the mix somewhere. Guns and fire. Mm -hmm. Someone to take somebody. Gun charge. Ooh. Now, if you're saying there's one person that has been proved and it, it's proved not to be that person, then no one gets the gun charge. So is this all the rigmarole by everybody together? So whoever had the gun in hand and did whatever they did, won't have to take their gun charge. Somebody is either covering That's what I feel like. Or somebody just is a, doesn't accuse somebody without actually knowing what happened. But it's one of those two <laughs> things. Like, it's something there, because somebody shot, and somebody got shot. <laughs> those are two confirmed facts that everybody can agree on. And the third mm -hmm. confirmed fact is that that gun that was shot that got somebody shot came from out of that car that these four people was in. So Cause this one, somebody is <laughs> I put it oh, I put it in realistic terms. Okay, if they got us three, you feel me? And they said somebody shot a gun out of y'all three. Whoever got the gunshot residue on their hands gonna be the main person they look at. Sure. Not just this random person over here. They did it because I heard somebody's voice say dance. Yeah. <laughs> You it would be the one. person with the most evidence for them. So, I mean, the friend has the gunshot residue. So, it puts the gun in the friend's hand. If you're just on the, the that, that evidence right there, the gunshot residue comes from prior the gun is in your hand. This was that, that, that doesn't say she won't shot out earlier. She won't have the range earlier. She could have been at the range earlier. You feel me? And just didn't wash your hands and do the necessary things you need to get that gunshot residue off your hands later on in the day. Could be. You could have been at the party. Shoot a gun playing with it. Who knows? That's what gun, gunshot residue. But you're the only one with gunshot residue all in the car. And so a gun was shot. <laughs> I wonder if the friend got a uh, got a record or something. Because usually when you're in a situation like that, you're blaming somebody else um, for it. You're covering up for something. Because if you get another strike, you go into jail. So that's what I feel like is happening right now. And Tori's getting to the tail end of it, but I'm not sure who to believe pretty much because like I believed, how to say, for me, it feels like it did the opposite it was supposed to do with Gail King or whatever. It's like mm -hmm. just 
just off of her previous track record or whatever. Like she just has this thing where it just seems like she does not, she go after just black male celebrities here. Don't get me wrong, R. Kelly should, he, she should be prosecuted for the shit that he's done or whatever. I just, I don't know, man. It just seems like she always just jump on the messy stuff. Cause I was, to me, I feel like I would believe, I would believe in um, Megan, at least that she felt like she, she was wronged in the matter. I was at least at, at the basic level of just that. I was believing her there. But now it's like, mm-hmm. now that Gail King is involved, I feel like uh, this, this looks too messy. Like, it's too messy or whatever. Uh, it's just the look is messy to me. I'll, I'll end my take on this whole situation with this messy ass take and be a little messy myself. Um, if it comes out that Tory was not the shooter, I would love to know what the hell happened between them Instagram mm-hmm. posts and them being all lovey-dovey. And her, if she, if he wasn't the shooter, automatically assuming it was and accusing him of being the shooter. I would love to know, like, what made her be in a negative place enough with him to, for him to, like, she ain't said, oh, the driver shot me. Or, oh, you made a mistake and shot me. No, you shot me. So if you didn't see it and you go straight to that, usually it's some it's some nair. Like what didn't about friend, him? Didn't a friend text her that? Didn't a friend text her that or tell, tell her that toy shot? The friend texted somebody else. Oh, yeah, Tory shot Meg. But oh. Meg said that Tory shot her. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to figure out like what. <clears throat> Like, if it wasn't her, if it wasn't him, and she didn't see who shot her, what? you turn around and you're looking at three people in the car and the, you blame this person. What What is it that happened that made you be in a negative enough place with him that that was... Nigga, I know you did it. Like... Tory, Tory fucked the friend. That nigga fucked. Like, what, what, what was the nature of y'all relationship and what happened there that broke down? And I know that ain't none of my business. That means that was well it ain't none of my damn business. I know I'm being a messy mom. Tori fucked her friend, and, and she had to go. I want to know. I'm nosy like that. I'm intrigued by, like, the weird intricacies of this crime. Like, May, somebody shot me. Meg fucked one of her friends, one of the old girl's ex-boyfriends, and everybody was drunk, and they were talking shit, and she grabbed that pistol and like, bitch, I'll shoot you. Yeah, see, like, you don't do shit. This is another one. Like, damn, bitch, damn. In the car. And she was like, bye. Look, this is the other theory I got. They're in the car, but they all rode together to the party, right? So Meg okay. wants to go because... Tori came with all of them, and she, her and Tori was cool, but then Tori started macking to the friend. In the midst of that, they get into an argument in the car. Her and the friend start arguing in the car. That's why she gets out of the car, because she pissed at the friend. The friend then picks up the pistol, starts firing at her feet like, bitch, get in the goddamn car. Stop fucking playing. Pow, 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 trying to be funny. Or she's holding the gun, trying to be funny, talking shit, and the gun goes off ends up hitting Meg's feet or some shit. And now everybody's in panic mode. And while the, but no, the girl, the, the friend would have had to have been saying something playing at first for the dance, dance, dance shit to come out. And I think that that's what happened. And then Meg turns around and she thinks that Tori did it for some reason. Like that he was the one that fired the gun. So that's why she's saying he shot him. But she might have been saying that he was he was like actually mad at her or the one that was like angry at her. You if you look at Tori, I'm 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 all the young motherfuckers who got themselves in a situation and the fuzz showed up and they had to say some shit and fuck around and say some Mm -hmm. shit that they shouldn't have said and they got caught up in something else and said like, well, we gotta say this now, we just gonna say this. Mm -hmm. I don't know who telling the truth, who lying. Um if Tori is guilty. Shame on you, nigga, was trying to shoot a lady, especially a black lady, in her feet or at all, nigga. Um, if it's proven that South he South Carolina was you, you're guilty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The South Carolina with him if he's guilty. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh wait a minute. Oh, but if he's innocent, there should be some type of repercussion on the other side. 
Now that's because definition of character. I, 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 I was I'm, I'm way past. I'm way past black men, especially black men, getting accused of bullshit that they end up not doing, whether it be shooting somebody, robbing somebody, or raping somebody. The innocent should not be accused, man. Like you know, especially when you know the motherfucker is innocent. Too many times that should happen. But like I said, if a nigga is guilty, like my brother said, away with that nigga in South Carolina, man. I will say if <clears throat> um if they do like if if he's not guilty, right? I don't. I would say yes. Give her repercussions if there's a way we could prove that she did not know that he wasn't the shooter. Like that she mm-hmm. knowingly mm-hmm. accused him, not that she genuinely thought that that was who shot her from the car based on whatever mm-hmm. evidence she had. Mm-hmm. That was like the best, her best guess. So that's why she went with it. Not like, oh, I'm maliciously trying to accuse this nigga. Or yeah. I know it's not you, but I'm gonna still say it's you just to do just to do it. But if she knowingly did it, fuck yeah, that's following the report. That, that's something. And it should be more because these days people get away with that shit too much using the law all the time. In the wrong way is like a weapon against folks. Well, I'm gonna say you like come on. I feel like um I feel like Tori probably messed around with one of her friends and she found out at the wrong moment. I, or I definitely think it's something in, in that. Like it's too much it's a young shit. and now we mad yeah. all of a sudden and now it's shooting on like it's too much. Mm-hmm. switching of the emotions but we was hanging together it, at this thing so you, like that tells me like we came together cool now we leaving together and we angry and you're saying mm-hmm. it was an argument in the car why would it be a so your driver's arguing or Tori and your friend is arguing and if Tori and your mm-hmm. friend is arguing nothing about black women that I've ever grown up with tells me that a, that your friend is arguing with Tori or the driver and you not arguing in that argument too so like it's it's something there that's not connecting, but I do mm-hmm. believe it's always three stories. So the truth is probably somewhere where like I can understand why you remember it that way, but I can also understand why these three people remember it in their three ways. Like it's something that mm-hmm. it's something that just don't connect in this story that don't. Yeah, all, like I'm missing that final puzzle piece. They're like, "Oh, that's what we make it." Mm-hmm. Once they get on this, once everybody get on that stand individually, the truth gonna come out, and that missing link will be put in there. But, oh, so this is this, 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 this. So this is the real picture right here. It's gonna be. We ain't gonna hear shit from it, It's gonna be. Story. It's gonna be so much. Yeah, that driver. Because they gonna be in that bitch like. <clears throat> Hey, look, this who did it, man. Meg shot herself up in the feet, and she done got mad because she, she didn't know how to work the gun, and people heard that shit and called the police, and now we nervous. Mm-hmm. She got out the car because her feet was bleeding, and she was worried. This, yeah, that sounds... I'm okay. telling you, it's going to be the most simplest. It's going to be the simplest shit in the world. Why? The it's going to be simple as fuck. Yeah, she won't try to mess up her record. There's some old young shit they lie because... They want to buy time yeah. to lose money. Yeah, yeah it's they, going to be no they, stupid. They, they are shit. young. You got to keep that in mind. They are young. Yeah, once, once again, once again, I double down on it. Like I double down on what I say. If he guilty, I'll mm-hmm. wait with him. If he guilty, I'm not saying she lying. Well, Meg, like I'm not saying she's so. telling the truth. I'm saying I don't know. And I'm saying it looks kind of iffy because it's too many different moving parts and it, it's like yeah. missing shit. Now, in most shootings, when the person's still alive, it's a clear-cut case. You feel me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Both parties still alive. You shot me. That's it. But this, this ain't a clear-cut case right here. It's missing shit all around, so I, I don't know, man. They need to have this case on TV just like they got that depth shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, definitely when this uh when this go when this go to trial, I would like to see that. Well, I have a feeling yeah, probably that shit gonna give up yes, and just talk about it in the good and fucking. Oh yes. Both I know it's gonna be some wild shit that come out about that night at that party. I know it's gonna be some wild shit that come out about what went on in that truck. Like it's gonna be some shit that just keep 
It's one of them cases that are just keep like bloop, 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 and more names gonna get and I, and I feel involved. like all of a sudden it's gonna be some wild shit. I feel oh, like Tory can't wait shit, to talk. But it's gonna be some wild shit that gets stirred up and comes out because of this. I, I feel like Tory can't wait to talk because he he be sly trying to say stuff on Twitter and stuff like that on low. Mm. And then I, I feel like he got something to say. He just cannot say it right now. Oh yeah, I would like to hear his side for sure. Like, I mean, in a concise way without him like having to use metaphor or like, and mm-hmm. it, like I want him to be able to just sit down like she did and just be like, all right, well that's what I did. Look, that's what happened, and da, 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 da. you know what I mean. Like that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Damn, Gail King is not the person to go get interviewed by. I mean, you got a case coming up. No. Nah. But I tell you, mm-hmm. is the person to come get interviewed. Is Barbara Walter ass still alive? Shit. Barbara Wawa, I think she is still alive. I think Barbara Wawa is alive. Mm-hmm. Barbara Walter. Mm-hmm. I don't, just don't know. Mm-hmm. But if she ain't, Google. I tell you who the best people to get interviewed by is. Your boy. Come on through and get an interview. Uh, we will be working on uh an interview coming up soon with uh the sexy toy lady. Um we got a couple of different angles that we'll be talking to her about. Um we also got uh topics we're gonna talk to her about what the fuck is wrong with y'all <laughs> <laughs> it's him it's him he, he it was him um, I kept it in my mind he, um, he laughed <laughs> So yeah, we got some collabs coming up with some other people. That was all I was trying to say. <laughs> um, but you know, <laughs> that brings us to the end of the night show, man. Uh- <laughs>